Your Excellency, the Se Your Excellency, the Senate President, Senator Godswill Apabio, Your Excellency, the Deputy Senate President, Principal Officers, Distinguished Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my name is Yusuf Maitama Tuga from Bauchi State. I was born on the 12th of March, 1967. I attended primary school in Kano. From there, I proceeded to Federal Government College in Lorin. I graduated from the University of California, University in, uh, in the United States, where I majored in international relations. I have a master's also in international relations from the University of Cambridge. I'm a former member of the House of Representatives, where I was chairman of the House Committee on Public Procurement. Uh, I was also a very active member of the uh, Foreign Relations Committee, as well as the Petroleum Upstream Committee. I contested for governorship under the uh, CPC in 2011, after which I went back into private uh, business before eventually being appointed as ambassador of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to Germany, where I am still serving. Um, during my time in Germany, I was part and parcel of several initiatives that uh, I believe attracted investment and sought to move Nigeria forward in terms of infrastructure, um, economic development, and um, culture. Amongst those, quickly, I would like to mention the um, Presidential Power Initiative, the Siemens Electrification Project, also, the Kano Maradi Rail Project uh, that is currently under construction. The return of the Benin Bronzes, 1,320 uh, pieces to Nigeria. And um, let me just simply round up by saying that um, I'm very proud to stand here before you as a nominee for minister because I see very familiar faces. I consider myself uh, part and parcel of this um, institution. I'm not only a former member of this institution, I'm also, I would say, a child, a son of this institution. And finding people like me being included as ministerial nominees, I think is an attestation to the progress that our democracy is making, where you have people from the bastion of democracy, which is the National Assembly, actually moving to the executive arm uh, to serve. Uh, I think it uh, provides for better understanding uh, between uh, the, the, uh, the three arms of government. I would like to stop here.
Your Excellency, I have been warned that I should not take too long. Thank, Thank you. That we try to hear from at least a member of the Senate from your state. So let me invite uh, Senator uh, Nengi to say something. I, I think Senator Nengi has also just been a, elected the chairman of Northern Senators uh, Forum. Am I right? Uh, uh, congratulations. Please, you are from Bauchi. Say something about the nominee. Thank you, Mr. President. Sitting as a chair, my name is Senator Abdul Ningi, and I represent Bauchi Central, Bauchi State. Let me, from the onset, congratulate my friend, my younger brother, my colleague, Ambassador Honorable Yusuf Maitama Tuga. Mr. President, this is a person that I know close to. 35 years ago, he comes from a very prominent family in the state. We have never been in the same party with Tuga. He has always been in another party, from CPC to APC, but that has not in any way dilute our relationship. Tuga is one person that does not define you from where you come from. He does not define you from your religion. And he neither defines you from your political party or regional affiliation. Standing there, Mr. President, is a unique Nigerian. And you could see from his records, he has gone all over the country. And of course, globally, he studied in the United States of America. He also studied in the UK, presently an ambassador in Germany. Tuga's nomination by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu gives me an impression that the president understands what is needed for this country going forward. With Tuga as a minister, Nigerians, Bauchi State, and in particular the National Assembly, will be proud for having one of its own as a shining star in terms of performance. I believe he has seen other ministers come and go. He has seen where ministers go and deny even being members of the National Assembly. Tuga will be different. I believe. He has the capacity, the education, the exposure to be able to handle any ministry given that opportunity. Mr. President, I introduced Tuga to our colleagues, and it is somebody that we all must uh, be, uh, the, that we all must have hope that he will deliver the democratic dividends when the time uh, comes. Distinguished colleagues. Here is somebody that I can proudly say he should take a bow and go. Thank you, uh, your mic. Thank you, distinguished uh, Senator Abdul Ningi, Chairman of the Bauchi Caucus of the Senate and Chairman of Northern Governors, uh, Northern Senators uh, Forum. Uh, Ambassador, the only problem is that your uh, resume. I didn't see date of birth on it unless. Oh. Your Excellency, my my birth certificate is actually just outside that door. I can I can bring it in quickly. The date of birth I think is an omission, but the birth certificate, which is even more proof. 12th of March, 1967. Yes. Uh, you didn't want to uh, put it so that I, I, would, I would not know you as a small boy. 
so, <laughs> so, so put it inside. I, I clack. I get uh, get his updated CV, and uh, also includes his date of birth, and has all the uh, certificates attached. Ambassador, you are a former member of the House of Representatives. Now, the, uh, outside the few additions that you are going to make to the CV, you may take a bow. Congratulations. He's sending them, he's sending them. Your uh, ambassador. Ambassador. You get, the, you, you, you provide your updated certificate with your academic qualifications attached, you understand? Huh? And also include your data of birth. I know you were rushing from your posting to come. So you, you can take it back. But provide those things so that all, all the, the civil senators will have copies. I said congratulations on your nomination, not on your confirmation. We have not confirmed you yet. <laughs>